Hey, what's up? It's Lizette Perez. Besitos to you. And as you know, I've done a community show on the radio for the past two years. And I've been so inspired by so many organizations here in Orlando that I just had to show you more in a way that I could never do on the radio. So I introduce to you Real Talk Live. I'm here with Mark Hoeing from Give Kids the World Village here in Kissimmee, Florida. Hello, Mark. Thank you so much for having us here today. Thank you, Lizette. Good to be here. Tell us all about Give Kids the World Village. Give Kids the World is a 70-acre whimsical village uh, in Kissimmee, Florida, as you said. We help kids with life-threatening illnesses by providing a free week-long vacation to these kids and their families. We help uh, families from 50 states and 75 countries. Wow. So how do you make it happen? Are you working with a wish-granting organization, or do you handle it all? No, we work with 250 wish-granting organizations around the world. Probably the largest and the, the one people recognize the most is Make-A-Wish. But we work with 250 of these around the world. And what happens is if a family has a child with a life-threatening illness, they would first go to a wish-granting organization. Uh, if the wish-granting organization says that the wish is granted and the child wants to come to Orlando, and 50% of all kids do, of course, uh, then they would contact us and we would take care of the trip and make sure that their week-long vacation became a reality. So tell us about Give Kids the World Village. What it, do you have here? It is magical. We have uh, venues like a Magic Castle. We call it the Castle of Miracles where children go in and, and uh, write their name on a star and the star is placed in the ceiling in the sky that uh, part of the village forever. Uh, we have an enchanted carousel where kids, even ch kids in wheelchairs, can uh, ride on the enchanted carousel. We have uh, an ice cream palace that's open at 7.30 in the morning. And one of the traditions here at Give Kids the World is ice cream for breakfast. Oh. <laughs> and so usually at least once during the, their weekly stay, the families will have ice cream for breakfast at our ice cream palace. Uh, we have um, Amberville, which is a miniature train station, a train running around the station. So we have all kinds of things. And every evening we have our own entertainment. We celebrate Halloween, Winter Wonderland, Pirates and Princesses parties. We have something for the kids to do every night when they come back from the, uh, the parks. Very nice. Can you tell us a little bit about the families who get to stay here? The families are incredible. Uh, one of the things that we've noticed that in our years of doing this is that when the families come here, it's a chance for family bonding. The family dynamics often change. We have uh, you know, kids that come in and they're, they're lethargic. Uh, they have, you know, they've been beaten down by the medical illnesses for so long that it's a chance for them to get a renewed spirit and see other children with the same conditions. Uh, they really feel normal in a setting like this. And for the first time in many of their lives, uh, they have a chance to relax and enjoy themselves as a family. So we have families coming in, 7,000 families uh, a year are coming to visit us. We have 146 villas. Uh, we've helped 127,000 families since we started in 1986. Let's talk about the volunteers here because you have a big production going on behind the scenes and I know this is not a one or two or ten man operation. No, that's right. Uh, we go through 1,400 volunteer shifts a week. A volunteer shift is about four hours, and so you can imagine that if somebody is um, spending four hours here, you know, serving food or uh, driving a tram or helping uh, run one of our venues like our castle or running the Enchanted Carousel, for mm -hmm. example, uh, those kinds of things couldn't be done with the small staff we have. We count on those 1,400 volunteer shifts every week. Well, I'm really excited to be here, and I would love it if you would show me around Give Kids the World Village. Would you give me a tour? I would love to, Lizette. Let's go. Let's go. So, Lizette, we're at the Ice Cream Palace now. The Ice Cream Palace, for many years, uh, we, served, we started at uh, about noon, and then a couple of years ago, we had a Wish family come through, and the little boy came in, and our president happened to be in the Ice Cream Palace. It was 7 in the morning, he knocked on the window, wanted ice cream. And so, from that time on, and we got like 20 people in line, and the president served them, so from that time on, we uh, served ice cream for breakfast, and we do that now as a tradition. Well, that's perfect, because I have a volunteer who wants to come and serve ice cream today. Oh, great. Jay Michaels, my good buddy oh, here. Hey, Jay, how I are you? I heard the word ice cream. Absolutely. <laughs> We're always looking for volunteers. That would be wonderful if you could help us serve ice cream. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. My good buddy from the radio station, I'm putting him to work. I'm hungry. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 